Satnam, I'm Nirva Singh Khalsa, and Happy New Year. Here we are in the first month of 2019. Phew, we made it through 2018. <laughs> and so, uh, I always like to do something that relates to prosperity in this first month of the year. And it's a lot of times when people make resolutions to actually get into a practice and, and deepen their practice. What we're going to do today is something called Trikriti um, Kriya, Trikriti with Nabi. And this was a Kriya that Yogi Bhajan taught very specifically to Guru Tej Singh. And I've been practicing it recently and it's just amazing, it's terrific. It's, and the reason I started to practice was, I, it was the idea of dropping into and recognizing the state of knowing. I remember uh, Yogi Bhajan did something with my wife. He always he always told my wife Nirvakar that she knew everything, you know. And actually, having lived with Nirvakar now for well over 50 years, yes, she does know everything. <laughs> and uh, and so, but this state of knowing, the state to be actually secure, to be confident, to be relaxed in your own self, to feel centered is actually a foundation for that state of knowing. And actually, nobody knew more than Yogi Bhajan. I mean, it was astounding, the breadth of his knowledge, the depth of his knowledge, and his ability to penetrate, to read the Akashic Record, to really understand what was going on. He could pick up a book and tell you what was in it. That's the way when I would present him things that I wrote in the early days, that he would do book reviews to see if the teachings were accurate. Right? That's what we do at KRI. We want the integrity of the teachings to, to exist. Now we have the library of teachings. Right? We, we don't have the ability to have someone like Yogi Bhajan to use his deep intuition and his sense of knowing. So we really check with the library of teachings and with people that were around in the early days to really figure out, is this accurate? Is this have integrity? KRI is even now um, recognizing and giving the seal to specialty courses. So look for that, those specialty courses that have KRI approval. So anyway, this builds, it really works on the Naval Center point. It, it builds that state of calmness and relax, relaxed nature. And also, you begin to know things, right? You begin to know things in your environment that can't be known. It was one of those things that Yogi Bhajan talked about, know your unknown. And that is because you're primarily a subconscious being. How you operate, you're almost like an iceberg in terms of your conscious mind. It's all on the surface and why you do and what you do is not known to you and sometimes it gets you in trouble. The more you become self-realized, the more you can know about your own self and you can know your motivations and you can see your patterns, the happier, the calmer, the more relaxed and the more serviceful you can be. The nice side effect is you get to kind of like penetrate in sensitivity to your entire environment and know things that don't seem to be known. <laughs> so it's a, it's a lovely Kriya and I really do like doing it. So you're going to tune in Om Namo Guru Dev Namo three times and then you're going to have a mudra. This is a Shuni mudra then with the Saturn finger like this. And you're gonna have the arms down, relaxed by the sides with the forearms parallel to the ground. The eyes are gonna be just barely open, a, t a tenth open. But instead of looking at our reflex point, the brow point, you're gonna press in your eyes down so that you imagine that you're gonna looking at the chin. This is really what makes this, this Kriya work. And then in that position, you're going to pump the navel in and out with um, each uh, syllable of the mantra Had Hare Hari Wa He Guru right? Had Hare Hari Wa He Guru so it's Had Hare Hari Wa He Guru right? so two times three three pumps, three pumps Had Hare Hari Wa He Guru the breath is long, slow and deep the mantra is mental. And we can do this for 11 minutes. It's recommended if you can do 31 minutes, you can even build this up 
to two and a half hours. But it's powerful. And that mantra that's included in it, Waheguru, Wow Wisdom, Had Hare Hari, the dis- different aspects of creativity brings prosperity. When you naturally get relaxed and you're in tune with yourself, prosperity can can flow. So let's know the unknown. Let's do this and let's start 2019 off right and do this meditation for 11 minutes. So now. Thank you.